Hello friends, welcome to Pioneer of Success. This video is a part of the miscellaneous series and from today onwards in this particular series, we will be talking about post processing and data analyzing. You already know post processing and data analyzing is a vital part of console simulations because you need it for your plot generations may might be for your report or manuscript. So initially, let me just tell you what are the things you can do in your result part of console simulations. So this video might be uh, for beginners. However, as we proceed with the series, you will need you will get vital informations that may help you for your post processing. So you can see you are mostly familiar with those things like here we have solved for a temperature equation you are familiar with this solution i have taken this particular solution several times so you see you can actually go for a surface plot that automatically comes when you do a solution so this is a kind of surface plot you can see here then uh, this is isotherms contours so those are the representations so initially i talked about surface plot now i am talking about contour plot so those two options are already available and we are familiar with these options now you can see 1d plot group i have again taken this example in many of my solutions so 1d plot group means where you can actually plot in a two dimensional plane so two dimensional line not a plane suppose here we are solving in a two dimensional plane and we want to see the solution along this particular line so that will be given by this 1d plot group now this polar plot group and smith plot group those are important for particular solutions and those things basically come for electromagnetisms i will show these things in some other video however this is very important thing in terms of I mean when you are dealing with particular kind of physics say if you are working with fluid flow then this plots might not be important but if you are working with optics so these plots become vital so we'll show some optics video and there we'll be talking about these two things now I have already talked about cut plane if you are solving for 3d and you want to see what is happening at a particular plane then you actually take this option and those cut planes can be uh, different kinds i mean different planes you can actually cut and you can look at what is happening on the plane cut line 2d means if you have a 2d plane and you want to see at a particular line what is happening then you go for cut line cut point means suppose this particular geometry and i want to look at a particular point what is happening to the temperature with, with respect to time so that will be given by cut point and you see you have option for presentation you have option for report animation suppose you want to show what is happening over time you want to make a video out of it so in this animation option you have player and file so for time dependent things you can actually go for these two options those are very important when you want to make a movie out of your simulations data we will show you suppose whatever is being plotted here that is coming from some background data now sometimes what happens is if you are not okay with this kind of plots and you want to extract the data and if you and you want to plot it in some other plotting software in those case, cases your data generation is important and in some other video i have shown how to generate data maybe i will link that video in this description box and that will help you now we come to report so this report we generally do not use however if you if you want to generate a quick outcome of your simulation and you want to show someone then this becomes very important so if you go to report you can see there are multiple options that is given by console 
so brief report intermediate report complete report custom report from the name itself you can understand you can customize this part this will give you a brief overview and complete reports gives you all the details so today let us select the brief report now you can see there is an option for output format so one is html another is microsoft word so let me go ahead with microsoft word then i'll click on browse let me put it in download itself say console report name of the file i give and then i click on generate so it is asking do you want to replace the current report tree you can go for yes and most probably the file is generated let us see yeah it was generated this is console report some error is coming I'll show you the report or let us generate let us preview it then also we can see so this is the preview as the doc file is not working so let me show you the preview so this preview will come in your doc file for some reason my doc file is not working so let me show you this so you'll get the geometry you'll get what materials you have chosen you'll get equations we are solving kind of mesh what are the range i mean the if it is a time dependent then time range will be given in this report you can see the initial profile the final profile and this is the contour so all those things are given and uh, you can actually save it i have already saved it but the doc file is not being opened i don't know why because of some other issues but i have shown you how to generate the doc file so i hope this uh, video is helpful and this is mostly uh, mainly for beginners so if you are just starting with console then this particular video will be helpful for you